In this video, I'm going to share one of the most popular, super reasonable yakitori restaurants in Japan. They have a solid selection of yakitori and other food items. Ichita is a uh, whiskey from Suntory, and usually like a bottle, maybe about like this big, is about 4,000 yen. It's one of the spots that people come to to have a good meal and grab a few drinks. I recommend you trying Torikizoku. There's locations all over Japan. Now let's get into it. All right, so our order came in, and I'm gonna go with the tebasaki. So it's like wings, and this is a uh, salt shield flavor. So, so I'm just gonna tear off this bone here, make it easy to eat. Here we go. Definitely my most favorite thing on the menu for her. And this is uh, tebasaki with kare, so it has sauce on it. It's kind of like a sweet sauce, soy sauce base. Let's try this out. Here we go. Mm. If you like chicken, that's a must get item for sure. The best item on the menu. You can really taste that char as well. Really tasty. So next, we eat this, it's bell pepper. It has uh, some minced chicken in here as well. It's stuffed bell pepper chicken. We put a little bit of Japanese mustard on here. It's pretty, it'll get to your nose, so only put a little bit. Mm. Yeah, that's actually very good as well. I always get that when I come here. You get the nice little like crunch from that bell pepper. The chicken adds that savoriness. This is like the traditional yakitori. This is daimi, momo. And it has leek as well. Let's try this bite. Oh. I mean, that's a staple in yakitori. Daimi, the leek. Great combination. And with that sauce, so this one's tare. Um, you can get salt flavor as well, but yeah, really, really good. Another one of my favorites, chicken heart. This one also is sauce based. I'm just gonna take a bite off the skewer. Yeah, I don't know. Chicken heart, it, like just tastes like regular meat, to be honest. Really good. Not gamey at all. It has a nice texture. Nice chew. Yeah. I mean, some people might shy away from it because it's like an organ, but honestly, it really tastes like regular meat, to be honest. Really tasty, really tasty. I think Japanese people love eating um, organs like chicken heart or liver and stuff like that, so. Um, it's very, very normal to have. This is actually another staple here. Um, it's refill. You can, it, as long as you order one, you can order the whole time you're here, so that's pretty cool. So you have all the cabbages in the world that you want. Now it's way to change up the taste. This is actually like one of my favorite dishes here because it's like, actually it's like, the broth is actually really good. And they have some pieces of chicken here, and green onion, and the noodles. A very simple, Super, super comforting. So I'm gonna take a little bit of soup. Very light broth, salty, but not too salty. Just, just the right amount of salt. I'm just gonna have some of the noodles here. Hmm. Slightly firm noodles, just the way I like it. Yeah, I just really love the soup. Uh, the soup for this dish is actually really nice. And um, you know, when you're eating yakitori, you want to have like a mix of things to eat because you might get tired of the skewers. So this is the perfect break in between. This is called 
kamameshi, and it's literally like mixed rice in a pot. And it had to kind of like steam for about 30 minutes. So it's, yeah, it's been, it's been over 30 minutes, so let's take a bite. This is like very traditional style of mixed rice in Japan. Mm. Just that traditional taste. It's kind of like a taste that I could kind of remember my grandma used to make when I was a kid. I used to love her uh, mixed rice. And um, yeah, it reminds me of it. Not quite as good, but still very good, very comforting. It has like carrots, some bobo, and a little pieces of chicken here and there like this. You know, yeah, just a very comforting, it's like Japanese fried rice almost in a way. I got chita highball. So highball is whiskey with just soda water, like club soda. And chita, I don't think they have it available in America. Um, and Chita is a uh, whiskey from Suntory and usually like a bottle, maybe about like this big, is about 4,000 yen and this highball is only 350 yen so if you like whiskey and you like highballs, um, definitely come here, it's a pretty good deal. Of course this glass is like, you know, not that big but the taste is like really amazing and uh, nice and refreshing highball. Uh, better than the regular highball you can get at other restaurants. The Chita one is a little higher quality, so definitely come here for it. All right. So this is uh, mentai, mayo, and chicken breast. Uh, I don't think I've ever tried this before, so let's be a first timer here. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, that taste of the mentai is really coming in. Pretty salty. Um, I mean, that's actually better than I expected. I didn't really kind of like imagine mentai and chicken being that good, but this is an interesting combination. Yeah, it's actually quite enjoyable. And this is mochi with cheese, and obviously it has seaweed, and it looks like it's already doused in a lot of in a soy sauce, so I'm gonna take a bite. Mm. Wow. An interesting combination. To be honest, I think I would have just liked the mochi just with the soy sauce and the seaweed on top. The cheese might be overdoing it a little bit, but actually, it's still very tasty. But this is actually very salty as well. Next, I have tsukune, and this is salt flavor. It's just uh, minced chicken, like chicken meatball. Very traditional. Always good. I mean, yeah, they put nice um, spice on here as well. Mm, very tasty. A staple in traditional Japanese yakitori. So definitely get uh, tsukuden as well when you get yakitori. All right, so that's been Torihizuku. Uh, one of my favorite spots to come to because it's extremely reasonable for yakitori here in Japan. And all the dishes that we got, uh, each dish was only at 350 yen, which is about $2.40. So. Yeah, if you're on a budget or actually if you just want to enjoy a good yakitori, this is a spot to come to um, for drinks and food. It's a good place to just hang out with your friends and have a good dinner. I'll be making some more food content and maybe some travel content as well. So if you enjoyed the video, please like. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.